Uh, it's really the winter that we know and love in England. Just because it has rained so much today, this week, I think, in general. Can we take a moment to appreciate the humble Yorkshire pudding? So in case anyone was under the impression that farming is glamorous, The best breakfast ever. Hi and welcome to another video from Dale Farm. It's January. We're starting off with some nice sunrise scenes but they were few and far between. It has been a really really wet and miserable month. We hope you'll enjoy this video. It's a day in the lifestyle video. It's just a typical Saturday or Sunday when we are feeding round the cattle and what we eat, what we get up to, a bit of mole catching, a bit of this, bit of that. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. As you can see, around the feeders, really miserable and mucky. And thank goodness that we have some stone underneath where those feeders are because it really just stopped the mud from getting too deep. But yeah, all the animals tucking in, but really quite a depressing scene when you look at the state of the land because the footfall has just meant that the fields get into such a state when we have relentless rain like we've been experiencing. So we're trying to keep the tractor movement on the land to a minimum to cause the least amount of damage as possible, but a little bit is unavoidable. Nick, does it pain you that we're still doing this method, Dad's method of refueling? Yeah. <laughs> what would you, what would you like to do? I'd like to get a fuel transfer pump. <laughs> the old way is the best. Is it really? That made me giggle. We're out in the wet and the wind getting the farm jobs done and the cat is watching us out the window. Now that the sun is coming out. It's a lot of rain. Pretty muddy. This is where the highlands are feed up on the moor. Really nice views up here, but a lot of standing water around. And even though we're at the top of the hill, it still hasn't really drained away yet. Um, but the highlands seem bright, they seem okay. So that's the main thing. They are tucking in happily. We're just trying to get the water away from the feeder down the down the tracks just because it has rained so much today this week i think in general So it is Saturday, we have done the cows now, um, so bringing bales up from my uncle's where we gathered the hay, we stored the bales down there in the summer, um, brought them all around all the cows, it started off quite wet, really dark wet sort of day, it's, it's dry now, um, kind of windy, very, um, I don't know what, like blustery, looks like it might rain again. Um, quite a wet start to the month so far and um, I think it's going to continue so uh, it's really the winter that we know and love in England and um, the cold stuff is is certainly less common um, in my experience. So in case anyone was under the impression that farming is glamorous it is a mucky day today isn't it Nick? Very mucky. Giving the tractor a rinse off, 
last year we weren't in a routine we were sort of thrown in the deep end everything was really overwhelming this this year we feel like we've had time to get our head around how we want to do things so we are just trying to keep good habits and practices with our tractor maintenance um and as part of that giving it a just a rinse off after we've been in deep mud So we can have a nice warm by the fire, which I've been looking forward to all morning. And Felix is here. Hey, buddy. Hello, baby. Oh, say hello. Been keeping warm. We thought it was like a scene from Animal Farm where we were out in the farmyard doing our jobs and Felix was looking at us out the window. Time for a wonderful combo. The best breakfast ever. Never to be bored of. Eggs on toast. Sunshine! So it is now beautiful sunshine. How wonderful. I've been getting the garden ready for spring, the veg area. Tidying up a bit, greenhouse all cleaned out, ready to go. And yeah, just looking forward to spring. <laughs> this is a craft, this is one of the crafty ones. We got it. <laughs> um, so yeah, the bottom of here, we've had traps down here for for ages, so it's only a little one. Yeah. Nice big clouds and dramatic skies over Dettel Farm. This is our reed bed that filters our water and cleans it. Hey! Another one, two. You can see the different size of them. So that's mole number 10 and 11. We're doing all right. So we're in the hay barn now because it's a little bit out of the wind. It's quite windy out there. So uh, we have actually received, thank you, um, a few letters and a couple of Christmas cards. Um, so this was from John in uh Tewkesbury yeah we got a letter from John in Tewkesbury who is a subscriber so thank you for your letter um and card obviously and um, we also had a card from Kim thank you and a card from Martin Christmas card so we appreciate those thank you um and then we also had a letter this week from Bob Fletcher. Ah, thank you. And it's on the subject of mole catching and he said that he's been catching moles all his life. Um, that if you put a dead mole in a trap to try and catch a crafty mole, which we have got a couple of crafty ones on the campsite, um, then the moles, as they are moles are very territorial, it will go to sort of be aggressive towards the mole in the trap, maybe not sensing that it's dead, um, and then get caught in the trap in theory. So we're going to give it a try. Thank you. Aren't we, Nick? Yeah, we've got a couple of moles ready to go. We've just caught some. Um, so yeah, so we're going to put one down and see what happens. We'll update you later on. And thank you for your cards and letters. We do actually really appreciate it. They quite often really do brighten our day. So thank you. Thank you. It is now a Saturday night, half past seven and um, I have been cooking in the slow cooker, Dale Farm, Highland, obviously, uh, beef shin. So we're gonna have beef shin, beef. So we're gonna have beef shin stew. Oh my God, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? So we're going to have beef shin stew and I've made Yorkshire puddings now. If you're not from the, uh, the UK, maybe you don't know what Yorkshire pudding is, but it's basically like a batter made out of flour, milk, eggs, 
and it's like a it's going to puff up in theory um and oh just kicked a box it's going to puff up and be hopefully like a delicious tasty thing that we're going to have for our dinner here they are here they are here they are nick look at my yorkshire pudding nice. look at them look at them look at them so yes can we take a moment to appreciate the humble Yorkshire pudding. There you go, Nick. Thank you. Can you just look at that? <laughs> look at that. So we're going to tuck into our Saturday night tea and say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.